If you want a way to generate hundreds of beautifully crafted Amazon product review articles, then this video is for you. So I usually start with the process and then show you the results, but let's dive right into the result this time. Here is an AI generated title. We have an introduction. Now it looks like the product we're covering in this review article is the DeWalt 20 volt max cordless drill and driver kit. We have an Amazon compliance statement. We have relevant link text that relates to the article. And this one says, unlock your DIY potential with DeWalt drill kit. And if you click on this link, it appends your Amazon associate ID so that you get a commission if a sale is made. Continuing on, we have a product image. We have a pros and cons list. We have a how does it work section. We have a different text link that says a different thing. This one says get powered up, shop DeWalt 20 volt max now. We have another product image. We have a who is it for. We have a top positive review and a top critical review. We have another unique link text, ready to drill, explore the DeWalt kit. A third product image, we got a conclusion. And you also have the option for boilerplate text to put at the bottom of each article. This one I chose not to include that. So I'm going to leave a link to this article in the video's description below. If you want to take a look at it yourself with the new structured outputs feature in the OpenAI API, we can guarantee almost 100% consistent results. And this is done using JSON schemas. So this article is an entire JSON schema where we have the title, the introduction, the link text, the pros and cons, all the way down to the bottom of the article. So every time you generate a new article for a different product, it's gonna generate in a similar format. And that's important for consistency. And it's also important if we decide to add sections to these review articles in the future, all future generations should show the same results. All right, let me show you how to set this AI agent up for yourself and hopefully you can start making an affiliate income for writing Amazon product reviews. If you're new to this channel, welcome, I am Wes GPT. Your AI agent is a web app that I am building, and the vision is to have a business suite of AI agents that cover everything from content marketing, to customer support, to social posting, lead generation, and everything in between. Head on over to youraiagent.com, if it's a new account, you're going to enter your name, email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page. And because we are writing SEO content, specifically Amazon product review articles, you're going to want to connect your website. So right now we integrate with Blogger, Ghost.org, Medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, and WordPress.org. I'm not going to go through a setup in this video, but for the one that you're interested in, just click on that tab. I have a video here that helps with setup instructions for WordPress.org websites. For example, I have the option to download a custom plugin and provide your API key, or you can connect via an application password. Once you've connected a website, it's going to show down here on the connections tab and you can remove it at any point. You can rename it within your AI agent. This newest one I integrated was a Shopify store on this date. Next, in order to run the AI agent, you're gonna need an active subscription. So if you click on the subscription tab, and if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say subscribe. Click on that, subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Once that's been completed, you're gonna be sent back to this page where you can click on the home tab and then select your AI agent. So we are going to select the super affiliate agent. This one writes Amazon product review articles. So I'm going to click on this and now we can work on setting up our AI agent. First off, you want to select your website from the drop down box above. So let's say I'm running to that Shopify store. I can select that. Then I can choose my content scheduling. How often do I want this AI agent to post new articles? I could do it once an hour or once per day by putting in 24 hours. I can choose my start date. Let's say I want the articles to publish at a specific time. This is the way to choose that. 
I could do something like 6.30 p.m. every day. Do you want your articles to be published or sent to draft? I like to publish them right away. Next, we have the option to choose query or ASIN numbers. Now, if I choose query, this is the search that your agent is going to perform within Amazon, specifically the Amazon country website that you select. So let's say I want to run it for Canada. And how many results do I want to write articles for? If I type in 10, it is going to pull the top 10 results for that specific search query. If I want to write 50 articles, and 50 is the max here because that's the entire Amazon page, it's going to go through the search results and write an article about each of the products. Here I am on Amazon. So let's say I searched drill kit, ignoring the sponsored ads. It's going to start with this first product and look at this. This is the product that we wrote the article for. It's going to write one for this and then move to the next one, next one, next one. So let's write drill kit. I want to write for the top 10 results. Now we have to choose our writing preferences. So what tone or style are we looking to have in our articles? Let's do something like professional. What is our target audience? Let's go carpenters and the language. I'm going to choose English. Next, we need to provide our Amazon tracking ID. This is optional, but I'm assuming most of you want to put your affiliate ID within the links. So if someone clicks on that link, you get a commission for a sale and you find this tracking ID from this URL. Now, this might be different depending on which country you're in, but the tracking ID usually has this format and mine is like West GPT. I think it's 04-20 and we will append that tracking ID to the end of the Amazon product URL. Next, we have a compliance statement. Now you can edit this default text, but according to the terms of use for the Amazon affiliate program, you need to provide a compliance statement in your articles, usually saying that this is an affiliate link and that you do get a commission for all qualifying purchases. Next, we have some boilerplate text. This is standard text that's going to appear at the end of each article. And I give you a rich text editor so you can make this whatever you want. You can provide extra links back to your website, some additional compliance statement text, maybe follow my social links. The opportunities here are endless. Now we have the hyperlink section. So this is additional hyperlinks that we'll include within the article. And you can type in the specific text and what you want that text to hyperlink to. So the example I show here is if I typed in AI agents and I went to youraiagent.com, all variations of the AI agents text will be hyperlinked back to my website. And then we have the categories and tag section. So whether you're posting to a WordPress website, Shopify website, medium.com profile, whatever, some of these platforms offer the ability to provide categories and tags. These usually help organize the articles on your website so that users can find similar content for something like medium, the tags that you can input actually help with discovery as well. Now, before I click start agent, let me show you the other option for ASINs. So if I click on this, it opens up an input box where I can start typing all of the ASINs of the products that I want to write articles for back on amazon.com. Let's say I wanted to do my own research and I look through all of these products and I went, Oh, I really like this product. I want to write an article for it. I can click on it. And the ASIN number is this portion of the hyperlink. So zooming in, it is right here. I'm going to copy this and then paste it into the input box. Like, so hit enter. I can do this for as many products as I want. The one caveat is this ASIN number needs to be available on the Amazon country that you have selected. I've had people in the past get errors and it's because the product that they want to write a review article for is not available on that Amazon platform. So this is amazon.com and in the drop down country, I have amazon.ca. It's totally possible that this product is not available on amazon.ca. So to ensure the article is written correctly, I'm going to change this to amazon.com. All right, now I can click start agent. It will take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your completed and active workflows. 
These are also known as your agents that are currently working for your company. So I have this workflow, the Super Affiliate Query Drill Kit. It's been completed. I can click to edit this workflow if it is running, maybe add some additional products or remove some, change the tone or style of the text, the language, the audience, even the connection that I am posting the articles to. You have all these options by editing the currently running workflow. But as shown earlier, this is the result of that AI agent. And it's currently writing for the DeWalt 20 volt max cordless drill and driver kit. But for the next article, it's gonna write for the next product down the line. If you wanna write Amazon product review articles for yourself, I'll leave a link to your AI agent in the description below. If you're curious as to how I built this agent and you want to build AI apps or AI agents for yourself, you should check out the course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.